Hello everybody, Wade McNutt here, Piano Meditation, Piano Chops. Gonna answer a question I get a lot, uh, which is what keyboard should I buy? There's a lot of keyboards out there and it can be confusing. So I just uh, wanted to make this video to help people out and let them know the difference between home keyboards, uh, home keyboards and pro keyboards and maybe that'll help you out. So, first of all, let's talk about what's typically in a uh, home type keyboard. Now the first thing you're going to see when you walk in to buy, there's going to be different sizes. And you're going to go, uh, what, how many, what do I need to do? Well, first of all, you'll see 61, 76, 88. You'll, you'll even see smaller sizes than that. 88 keys is a full-sized piano. So if you want that full dynamic range, which is what I recommend, if you really want that piano so, uh, sound, you've got to have the full range of the piano. Uh, so you'll probably be looking for that 88 keys. Now, there's some keyboards you can buy different places that are smaller. Um, and, and that's fine if that's where you are. Uh, but I just re recommend the 88 keys. So the smaller ones, you'll see sometimes uh, even the pros will use these. And it's for specific sounds. So it's not really for a piano. It's for uh, like synth sounds. That sounded like a b that had musical ability but anyway synth sounds pads strings um all that different kind of stuff you'll you'll use the smaller keyboards for that or maybe if you're hooking it up uh, to a computer to do some recording stuff some of the cheaper keyboards uh might look like this the ones you'll get uh, at a walmart or who knows but they typically will not have 88 keys on them and this is your 88 key keyboard Another thing that you'll see on the home keyboards typically uh, are their speakers. There's speakers mounted on the keyboard, and uh, that's not a bad thing. That's just typical of uh, kind of the lower end home keyboards. Now, not always. There's some pro keyboards that have speakers on them, uh, but for the home, you will definitely see uh, those speakers. So that could be a giveaway to uh, which type it is. Also, Home keyboards typically do not have audio outputs. So if you want to hook it up to a sound system, play at church, play at your gigs, um, then you're not going to have a place to connect your uh, cable to go to the sound system. So in that case, you need to find a keyboard that has uh, that output. So some of these over here, you'll see a US, USB you can connect to your computer. There's other pedals that you can connect to your uh, uh, keyboard, we'll talk about that in the pro. And the damper is the sustain pedal. So they call it damper sustain, um, just so you don't get confused by that. MIDI is also another way to connect to your computer. And you have uh, your inputs, and the output is, is what you're looking for if you want to connect to the sound system. You have right or left mono, uh, and you can just plug left mono. Uh, you don't have to do both of them. Uh, the left mono will be just fine. So Look for that. Also, uh, home keyboards are built to look nice in the home, typically. There, you know, there's some that are the cheaper ones that don't look as nice, but this one, you could put it in the house and it looks pretty good. Um, you'll also have weighted keys um, on so what I recommend if you really want that piano sound. You've got to have the weighted keys because it's going to feel like a real piano. The action is going to feel right on your hands. The synth keyboards that do the strings and all that, th those won't be weighted. Um, but you might look for that as well, weighted keys. Cost, that's a big issue. Uh, typically 100 to 1000 is your home keyboards. So uh, the higher it goes, the better quality, the better sounds that you'll have in your uh, home keyboards. So let's take a look at Pro now. How many keys? Well, 88 if you're going to have you want to use the piano, so have a great piano sound. You've got to have that 88, and then less for your synth sounds. So we talked about that a little bit before. Then speakers. For a pro keyboard, a lot of times you do not have speakers on the keyboard, so you got to buy an amp to go along with it. So that's an additional cost. Um, but if you want to hear yourself, you've got to have that amp, or you can you know plug in headphones and listen that way. Uh, you'll want the headphones to go all the way around your ears, not just the earbuds. 
Then there's those extra pedals we talked about. Um, you'll have the left mono, right audio outputs. You'll have the MIDI that connects to uh, your computer and even a volume pedal that can bring so uh, sounds in and out just with that one pedal. So there's some extra gadgets that go on a professional keyboard. Typically you'll need a stand as well because they're not going to be built into a piano stand. Uh, so you'll have to buy a stand for a pro keyboard. Great sound. So that's the big one. Uh, the lower priced home keyboards, typically the sounds are not as good. Okay, uh, your piano will sound good, but the other ones, you know. So, but with a pro keyboard, man, you're gonna have piano, electric piano, clav, organ, lots of different kinds of organs, strings, individual strings, pads. You can play bass, drums, woodwinds, brass instruments. I mean, all kinds of great stuff, and they sound pretty darn good. So, that's a big advantage. That's kind of the big jump for the pro keyboards is having the ability to have all those different sounds. Another thing you'll see a lot of times on pro keyboards are some faders. So this uh, gives you the ability to have multiple sounds when you play. You might have piano and strings and you'll have the strings attached to your uh, volume pedal and you can bring them in and out as you want to. I've seen people play uh, p piano or clav and have like a brass section on the other faders and they connect it to the, uh, um, the volume pedal. That, that way they can bring it in and out. Uh, but it just gives you the ability to have multiple sounds going at once and bring them in and out how you want to. Cost $1,000 to $3,500. Yeah, it gets expensive. Uh, but if that's what you want, if you want the ability to, to really sound good live, uh, then you're going to need to save up and spend the money on uh, a keyboard of that caliber. All right, so just some different things to point out about the keyboards. Uh, again, your home keyboards are gonna have a good piano sound, um, but the rest of the sounds may not be as good. So give you some things to think about. Uh, it just depends on where you are. If you're not gonna be playing, plugging in, you may wanna go with the lower priced one and, and, uh, and uh, get something mid-range, maybe four or $500 uh, that's gonna sound good, um, be cost effective for you. I hope this helps everybody out. Uh, have a great week, life, all those things, and uh, leave a, a comment. Maybe there's something that you have a question about. Maybe I left out. Feel free to leave a comment, and I'll try and look at those and answer those questions for you. And y'all have a good one. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.